So apparently, a lot of people feel like how I feel about Kaitlyn Clark being the WNBA savior. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body, and I'm back with another reaction video to your girl, Kaitlyn Clark. Like, motherfuckers is like, why are you talking about Kaitlyn Clark so goddamn much? Because Kaitlyn Clark is the reason why I started looking at women's basketball again. Seriously. That's, that's, she's the reason why. None of these other motherfuckers, none of them. And I had a bunch of people, a bunch of people, apparently, that feels the same way that I do. They feel the same way that I do when it comes to Caden Clark. But there's also some people who don't agree. And that's fine. That is fine. Like, guys, I dig the interaction. I appreciate the conversation. And I appreciate your comments because everybody has their own perspective, especially on matters like this. And when it comes to this shit, I'm telling y'all that if Caitlin Clark don't motherfucking succeed in this goddamn sport, ain't nobody going to pay attention to it. They ain't, I don't care what, who the fuck y'all name. Why? Because you're trying to get casual viewership, a casual viewer, right? Right now, especially because the, the fucking NBA is coming to an end. Like, we got the last four teams in that bitch right now, damn near. But once we see who wins between Denver and, and fucking Minnesota. And after that, it's fucking baseball and WNBA. So you guys got to take advantage of that spot, of that fucking blank spot, man, because ain't nobody really watching. I don't, I don't know nobody watch fucking baseball. I don't watch baseball until the fucking World Series shits. You know what I'm saying? Half the time, I don't give a fuck about that either, but the Astros in that bitch the last two times. That's my dad's team. So I focused on it because of that. But anyway, I digress. Back to this Caitlin Clark shit, and for all the people who did agree with me, back to this shit. You're going to have to understand that Caitlin Clark is in a fucked up situation when it comes to her having the ball. Did you pay attention to her career in Iowa? Apparently, she was the only motherfucker on that team that was scoring shit. This bitch was putting up enough points for everybody else to go out in that hole and just go two, three, four points, five points, and they can make it. Y'all do realize them bitches made it to the, the championships? They made it to the championship, and they knocked out UConn, who they thought was going to go and play against South Carolina. Nope. Nope, that little white girl, little white girl out there that's fascinating to watch, fascinating to watch, that's what I'm telling y'all. If you're going to try to get a motherfucker like me, my attention, right, bitch, you're going to have to do something fantastic. I know y'all can't dunk, and the ones that can't dunk, that shit looks goofy. I'm just keeping it real. I know y'all excited you get up there and dunking and shit, but in NBA 2K, y'all has to be a rim grazer. That's all you would be. <laughs> you got the rim grazer package. You just tap the bitch in, just tap it. That's they told motherfuckers to do was in middle school, saying. I don't care about that. Since y'all can't really dunk, right? I need y'all to bop a bitch up. You know what I'm saying? Step back three. Awesome shit like that. Fade away. Work on your game. Bitch, shoot. That's what we looking for. Bitch, shoot the goddamn ball. Hold for you miss. Oh, well, go for the rebound. We need y'all out there moving and grooving. Do what y'all can. I know you can't dunk, but bitch, I need you to be floss. I need you to be flashy. Like Juju Watkins. The bitch is at USC right now. You see? Because of Kaitlyn Clark, I know Juju Watson. I'm telling you. Because they don't talk about y'all. Uh, listen, don't get mad at me. I'm on y'all side. I'm an ally. They didn't talk about women's basketball that much because your motherfuckers didn't have anything to offer. They tried everything with y'all bitches. They even tried to make y'all look like motherfucking uh, supermodels out there. Remember that fucking era where the bitches had all the makeup on, the hair was all done up? Bitch, we ain't here to see that. And then we're here to see y'all hoop. If I want to see the bitches that look good, I could go to motherfucking the, 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 the mall. I go to mall in Houston and see some hoes look that like that. Galleria, all dog the fuck up. I'm not looking at that shit. I'm out here to watch y'all hoop. That's why I said what I said about Angel Reese. Because Angel Reese is an Instagram personality damn near. You know what I'm saying? She, I don't know. She didn't make it to the fucking WNBA. She a couple steps away from going fucking OnlyFans probably one of these days. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying, that's the career for them. Hell, that, that would be, I mean, come on, man. These bitches only make like $300,000 a year. I mean, shit. You getting what you get out there. I bet you, you know what? You would get some world-class play out these bitches, right? If they was getting paid. Because then you can open up more teams. It ain't shit but 12 teams. 12. What the fuck? 12? I, is it more than 12? Hold on. Before, before I keep on going off, I can actually pull this shit up. Because I, I, I also made a mistake. I made a mistake from the last time I was speaking when I talked about Angel and her fucking debut. Um, she put up, she put up some, some, some good numbers on her debut. Hold on. Cause I, 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 I put it down. I put it down. Her, her debut game 
Nah, fuck that. She ain't put no good points. That bitch had 11 points and half her shit keep coming from free throws. She had 11 goddamn points, three for nine shooting, and she had five goddamn free throws. The game after that, she had nine free throws. Nine. Nine. And you know how many points she put up? 13, because she was two for eight shooting. Now, I ain't saying that Clark is any better than that, but these are our rookies, guys. These are our rookies out there, Hooper, so they're not going to put up these the outstanding numbers like however they did when they was in college. This game has a transition. It's the same thing for them. Women, it's the same thing. I get it. <laughs> we all get it. We all get what you're going through. But here's the thing. You guys got to give us something. You got to give us something. And don't fucking go beat up on goddamn Caitlyn trying to stop her because you, you do understand the 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 amount of new viewers you got to the sport because of Caitlyn Clark. And not since the eyes are on y'all, y'all need to go out there and ball. Don't go out there and try to motherfucker. But even, even if, you know, it don't matter. Because some people are trying to say that maybe they should slack off of Caitlyn a little bit, slack off of her, and, and let her cook. No, don't let her fucking cook. But goddamn, like, she, she getting double, triple teams, all this other bullshit. And honestly, it really wouldn't even matter if she wasn't getting triple and double team or anything because her fucking team sucks. Why do you think they fucking pick first in the WNBA draft? They sorry. That's why they pick first. <laughs> they was terrible. It, it ain't like she went into a fucking win-win situation. I mean, it's a win for her because of her talents and everything that she had when she was at Iowa. Motherfuckers is still lingering on that smoke, right? So now she didn't brought her over there and she really ain't doing too bad. She, had a, she, she got fucking shitty turnovers. Like her turnovers are ridiculous. You need to get that shit down, Kaylin. For real. I, I I mean, you just need to. Because the other bitch out there that played for that team, I see why y'all lost. Brianna, that's a, Brianna Foster, is that her name? I don't want to get your fucking name wrong, lady. Um, I got your name wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brianna Stewart was out there cooking. Cooking. She dropped 24 on this last game, but she dropped 31 on that motherfucking ass. <laughs> And Kaylin's second game. And I bet and, and, and whoop they motherfucking ass. I think it's going like 102, like 60 something. It's like, I bet Kaylin felt like she was in back in college when she first got there. Cause I bet it feels like her being there freshman year. Cause she in order for her to have scored so many goddamn points, she had to be doing that shit as soon as she got to school. It's the same thing where she is right now. She dropped 20 her first game. She dropped 22 this last game. Now, you sandwiched that middle shit. She only had nine points. And everybody probably looking at me like, she only had nine points. Nigga, shut up. She ain't doing shit. Motherfucker. They team sucks. <laughs> the lip, that fucking team that Kayla Clark owned is fucking Terry Blay. Terry Blay, right? I mean, it's the worst. That's why they pick first. And everybody else spread out through the league. I mean, there honestly isn't enough teams to see what the WNBA could possibly be because there are a lot of people that have to get let go because they can't afford to keep them on the roster. You can't go no other team because they ain't no other teams. I mean, you just going out there to try for what? The hope, the hope that the the sorriest bitch on that team is sorrier than you, and then you get to play. <laughs> that's because that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Or they go across seas to go play. The women got a fucking bum rap. I'm surprised. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised so many women who play basketball want to play basketball. Because yeah, they do have a league for y'all, but that shit is shit when it comes to what they pay y'all. That's fucking ridiculous. But they pay y'all. For the product. And Caitlyn was a good product. She is a good product. That's why I'm like, y'all, that motherfucker needs to shine. Because before, come on, man. Let's be honest. Even all y'all that's in the W, let's, let's really be honest, man. It wasn't really like this. It wasn't really like this. I mean, I know we got old girl from the, from the Aces. I, I forgot her fucking name, man. Asia. It's Asia, right? I think it's Asia. They, she's freaking good, too. These girls is good. But... A person like me, listen guys, a person like me didn't know how good they were until Caitlyn. You get it? Like they plastered Caitlyn everywhere. Not only because she's fucking white, of course, but she's good. And I told y'all in the last video, America hasn't had a fucking white all-star basketball player since Larry Bird. You can't, no. Luka Doncic ain't from here. Motherfucker, the Joker's not from here. Dirk Nowitzki's not from here. Them bitches ain't from here. And you got your white superstar over there. And they need that shit to translate over into that league. They only got 12 fucking teams. 12 teams, guys. That's all they fucking got is 12 teams. 
They what, what happened to the fucking Houston? I did not know Houston Comets team wasn't the team there no more. I didn't know that shit was gone. Them the bitches that won the first four titles. Why is it? Why is there a team anymore? Oh, I get it. Because they ain't making no money in this shit. Listen, girls. I'm I'm telling I'm rooting for y'all, but they can't pay you motherfuckers if y'all ain't making no money. Not you guys, the girls, but the league. Then come on, bro. The motherfuckers losing so much goddamn money. They just so they hoping and they're so optimistic. And now they got this fucking white girl that came in. They're like, yes, she can be our savior. Listen, guys, I'm telling y'all, the same thing happened with Michael Jordan. Same thing like with, with Magic and, and all the fucking players that, that y'all knew were the faces of the sport, right? I know y'all don't want to make Kayla the face of the sport, but for the sake of you motherfuckers and the, and, the, and the hereafter, you better make that bitch the face of the sport right now because people like me, the casual watcher, are paying attention. And if that bitch don't make it, they're going to be like, see, man, I knew I shouldn't have been watching this shit because they're only watching it for her. And... It, <clears throat> They not showing none of you other bitches on ESPN. No, they not. We got to go to ESPN 2 to see y'all. When they show clips of you motherfuckers, that shit come up and go away so goddamn fast. We got to, if we can't rewind shit, we don't know what happened to y'all. We, it's, it, we can't, it's hard to find highlights about y'all on the goddamn YouTube unless y'all putting them up. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't got the support of the people, the, the, the media. Y'all don't have their support. Y'all don't. And y'all can't get fucking mad at us talking about, hey, man. Everybody watches basketball. Everybody, I see them goddamn commercials. Everybody watches basketball. I don't know what the fuck they talk about. No, the fuck they don't. Who is everybody to y'all? Because I seen them goddamn basketball games and them stadiums be empty as shit. They got to keep the cameras down low like this shit, this angle, because there ain't nobody at that angle at the top of that. Ain't nobody in that bitch. Nowhere around that motherfucker. It, it, we know this, guys. Now, if y'all all of a sudden just starting to sell our games all of a sudden, right? You. you you, you you listen, you're going to have to attribute that to the motherfucker who's bringing it in. They ushered it in. Look, they didn't want to give Iverson his motherfucking praise either. They didn't want to give Iverson his roses either. But this nigga is the one who paved the way for all these goofy dressing ass niggas that you see coming. Cause look, <laughs> Iverson wasn't wearing them goddamn clothes they want him to wear. Some motherfucker coming in that bitch with an oversized jacket on by 3X nigga, long ass white t-shirt, some goddamn long ass blue jeans, and fucking Tibbs. <laughs> I was, that was Iverson. And they didn't want that shit. And now look at exactly what it is. Nigga just dressed like nobody coming in no fucking suits. Nigga, I know what you're talking about. I know this is a job, dog, but nigga, come on. I played this shit in fucking elementary school. This is a kid sport, motherfucker, that I play on a grown-up level. Fuck it, nigga. Let me come to work how I want to come to work. You ain't got no problem when I'm out there motherfucking scoring and making money for you, bitch. And see, the WNBA, they ain't even nowhere near shit like that. Y'all don't have no authority. None. Why? Because of shit like this. Bitch, if I got somebody finna come into this motherfucking league right now, you know I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna say, you know what? It's gonna be rough for you. I want her to come in here and shine, though. I, I really want her to come in here and shine. Don't say the shit that y'all say. It's, it's not gonna be like it was. It's not gonna be sweets and roses. That bitch, pretty much, bitch, we waiting on you finna fuck your ass up when you get here. You think you're good, ho? Come on up in here. Let's, let's see how good you really is. Man, y'all better hope this bitch is good. Y'all better hope she's good because this bitch... Ha, Tell me how many of you motherfuckers' jerseys sold out. Tell me. I know, I know some WNBA players gonna see this video. I want you to tell me outside of Caitlin Clark whose WNBA jersey is sold out as fast as hers. It probably is somebody. I <laughs> because I know I can I, I can admit to be wrong already because I possibly could be wrong, but I don't know too much about you motherfuckers because they wasn't saying shit about y'all to Caitlin Clark. I'm being for real. They talk about Kayla Clark all the time. They don't talk about none of y'all other female basketball players as much as they do her. You know, I, I mentioned Juju, who's still in college at USC, right? You don't really hear a lot about her. You heard Gino Ariyama, or whatever the fuck his name is, say some dumb shit, and I'm telling you, it was stupid, right? For this motherfucker to be like, we need this bitch to go ahead and go to the, the WNBA, get her out of here. But like, no, Juju, stay right where you at. So you can develop that shine just like Caitlyn did. You're, it's already on you, Juju. It's on you. I'm telling you. Because I'm saying your name. My partner said your name. And this nigga's a heavy ball player. I mean, that shit, I don't know if I should pause that or whatever. But he's a heavy player, right? He, but his knee fucked up, so he don't hoop no more. That nigga love that shit. He don't care nothing about none of this shit. And we talked about y'all bitches. 
I'm being for real. Me and him talked about y'all. So I'm telling y'all, you have our attention. People like to be acknowledged. We acknowledging you motherfuckers. Here's the problem. Y'all don't like the motherfucking reason why y'all, why, why we are acknowledging y'all. You're like, oh my God, you're acknowledging us because of her. Get the fuck, man. Let that bitch shine. Let that bitch shine. Because y'all only got 12 teams and a weak product, and she is the most marketable face that you guys have right now. Let it work. Let it work. You give a fuck. Let it work. Because otherwise, we ain't watching you bitches for nothing else. We're not watching y'all for nothing else. Look, the NBA, same way, is on that goddamn spiral. It's on that spiral. And they just keep trying to find anybody. They're trying to make fucking Victor Wimbenyamba the motherfucking face of the NBA. This bitch ain't even from here. But now you got Ant-Man. And they trying their best for this motherfucker to be the man. Look, he can be the man because he already wants to be the man. Motherfucker asked him, is he trying to win for Conley? Because Conley on that team, right? And I feel like that's the reason why they didn't win the last game. Because they need that veteran mentality out there on the court. I don't give a fuck. You got some soft-ass bitches out there. You got, you got a yellow boy and a nigga from France. Come on, bro. Come on, cat. Come on. Y'all seen them? Have y'all seen them goddamn zesty ass videos of cat? I know y'all seen that shit, bro. I did not know he talked like that. It's crazy because after all that, bro, they asked me in media about you. What the? What? They really did. <laughs> but anyway, you got them two dudes on your team. You gonna need a motherfucker like Ant. That's probably they. That's probably why Jimmy Butler went off of them niggas because of them niggas how they are. But now you got a nigga like Ant Man and Conley that came back with a veteran leader leadership, right? And can cook. That motherfucker don't give a fuck. I'm flexing on y'all boys. And that's what we like to see. We like to see somebody that's going to go on that bitch and flex, nigga. This is, this is competition. It's competition. Yes, it's entertainment for a lot of people. But for a person like me who has actually been in sport, it's competition. And if we watch just some weak ass shit, we don't want to fucking keep paying attention. And now you done lost both viewers, WNBA. You lost a person who's used to competition. And you lost just a casual fucking viewer. You lost both of them. So compete. Everybody. Bitches compete. Everybody. I want to get this out there because Kaylin, she, she dropped 22 for all the people out there. And everybody keeps saying this dumb shit who don't realize this. She's a fucking rookie, guys. A lot of rookies struggle. But this bitch is still scoring 20 points. She scored nine in the last game. She turnovers got to get it down, Kaylin. But other than that, come on, man. All of them rookies. I haven't looked at all their rookie stats compared. Maybe I will. And show y'all. Show y'all. Like, she might be the leading rookie. I don't know. It might be the other bitches from UConn. Who knows? Who knows? But until then, man, this is what we got. Oh, and Sean Puff Daddy Combs, don't think you was going to escape this shit. Do you mean tell me that you actually guilty for beating up a bitch? You really, you really guilty for that shit. And you want to take your motherfucking ass on television and try to get all that sympathy. You got Bishop T.D. Jakes. Okay, Bishop T.D. Jakes, don't think your ass is going to get away with this shit either. Because I'm going to tell you something. You motherfuckers don't run too far away from each other. Y'all do things with each other. Look, friends know what friends do. Friends know what friends do. And there's no way in hell that nobody didn't know what the fuck was going on with Puff and this bullshit. Because I believe that there's somebody else in the fucking video. Right? It ain't just him and her and him chasing. If y'all ain't seen this fucking video, bro, I'm telling y'all, don't watch this shit. Don't fucking watch it, bro. It's fucking traumatizing. And for a lot of people to bring back some eerie motherfucking feelings in them that they fucking tried to get away from. And if you, I mean, if you are like somebody like that, please get some help. Get some help. Because this motherfucker ran up on this bitch, grabbed her by the back of her shits, and just slammed her to the fucking ground, bro. And then he kicked her ass twice like he was trying to kick field goals. For real. He ran and, and fucking... Cock this shit back and bah, kick the bitch twice in the back in the ass. You feel me? Some wild shit. This and this motherfucker wanna get up there and act like ain't nothing been happening. His kids wanna act like ain't nothing been happening. Y'all know y'all daddy. Listen, we finna get into some shit right now. The reason why these kids behave the way that they do is because of their fathers. I'm telling you right now, his children have those same tendencies. If they didn't, they would already told on his ass. Yeah, I know you're my fucking daddy, bro, but we don't, this is not what we do. It's not. Your children are a reflection of you. And if you look at that motherfucker, you want to break that goddamn mirror. I'm for real. This, this, this. 
the shit got me speechless, bro. It got me speechless because I don't know if y'all realize this shit. The the truth, man, like the truth is coming out and everything. And all these motherfuckers that been doing grimy ass shit, they getting caught the fuck up. Your favorite, your favorite superstar celebrity, whatever, they getting the fuck caught up in stupid shit. And that should like let you realize how much dumb shit that goes on at that level, at the top. Y'all all out there running around talking about screaming out the government this and the government that. Man, fuck all that government bullshit, bro. Fuck all that shit, man. Where, where you gonna take accountability for your shit? <laughs> you gonna take accountability for the shit that you do when it's gonna actually be your fault for once. And a nigga like that, like Puff, nigga, this is your fault. There's a video of this bitch apologizing. Who you apologizing to? Uh, this shit crazy, right? Are you apologizing to the fans? Because you didn't beat the fans' ass. You beat up on Cassie. What the fuck we care about this shit doesn't matter. Nigga, even if this shit wasn't in law, you beating on this woman, bro. You think that's fair? You think that's right, nigga? Get the fuck out of here, bro. You got some motherfucking nerve to get your bitch ass up there and ask for some fucking forgiveness for anybody, nigga. You should be asking for forgiveness for from her, the person you did it to. Don't come to the fucking TV and shit and try to get rally all the troops and get all this fucking support. Because anybody who come behind your ass right now to, 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 to support you through this bullshit, they fucked up their goddamn selves. Fuck you. Care about you, Puff, nigga? I know you. But you fucked up in the game out there right now. Thinking you finna get away with some dumb shit like this. And I know a lot of people probably fucking chiming in on this and trying to be all funny and trying to get a fucking reaction out that shit. But nigga, what if that was your daughter? What if that was your sister? Let's stop trying to be funny because this ain't the part to be funny. This is the part to be like, yo, niggas like that got to go. They gotta go. It ain't no room for that shit. Look, I got a son. I always wanted a daughter. I got a sister though. And I have a mama. You're supposed to respect these goddamn women because of what they do. What they bring to the table. They, nigga, they literally brought you to the table. <laughs> they created your dumb ass. And the mama, put you out here, bro. Respect them. Stop disrespecting them. And the reason why you disrespect them is because of daddy. And Puff Daddy is a disrespectful motherfucker kicking that bitch like how he did. It's a wonder what he ever did to Kim Porter. Ooh, shocker. They gonna open it up. Anyway, look, we're gonna get off this thing. As a last what, game seven is tonight. Edwards, I, I, I'm going to check that shit out. I hope you do good. Caitlin, look, I'm rooting for you. Guys, please root for these bitches, man. For real. They need us. They really need us. Because they, they, I don't want to say that. But look, at they need us. They do, bro. Uh, our women need us. How about that? That's the catch line. <laughs> look, we got this thing, man. Y'all take care. Peace. Oh, whoa, before I say peace to all this shit, man. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, hit that notification button so you know when your boy make videos, man. I'm out. Peace.